How's it going everybody? This is Rob Novcast back with another video. We're going to be responding to some of the drama or at least some of the stuff that's been going on when it comes to the whole Susie Lou uh, drama situation. Now I should point out that these are going to be kind of short responses to some of the stuff that's been going on. So if you guys want more in-depth responses to uh, what's been going on with uh, the whole Susie Lou thing? Uh, go check out Tipster News as well as the Quartering and many other YouTube channels that have been kind of giving back to back details on the situation. With that being said, though, why don't we go ahead and get started? Now, the first thing that should be brought up is apparently Susie Lou ended up purging her entire channel. Um, the mass majority of her videos are now gone. So when it comes to making income off those videos that she uh, made reacting to various things, she can't. It's gone. It's over with. And I guess this is due to the fact that she was receiving a buttload of copyright claims to the videos, which, you know, makes sense considering she, when it comes to her reactions, it's 90% of the time she's just sitting there watching the anime and not giving more of a response than she should. So I can understand why the claims are going through her video. And I guess what if copyright claims, it's not just Susie Liu, but also apparently her boyfriend. On Twitter, there was a screenshot of um, his videos apparently being claimed from a company which to some extent was spoken or at least the company name mentioned was some kind of encoded message though looking at some of the comments on Twitter as well as you know the rest of the community some people a lot of people are thinking that it might have been like an altered web page or something like that which to some extent I can see why people are saying that and I will say it doesn't help to the whole situation since apparently within the weekend the boyfriend of Susie Lou ended up purging their entire Twitter. So I could see that some people might speculate that something is going on and there might be something that he doesn't want people to see. Now, you'd think that the ridiculousness would end there, but oh no, oh no, 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 no. It is far from over. For, you see, to try to make up for the lost income, uh, Susie Lou, and I'm not kidding when I say this, is offering to pay $1,000 to help people make custom videos. What the fuck that's right for a small fee of one thousand dollars which is more likely part of a down payment that you could use for a vehicle you can pay for a custom video for her newly made cameo page now comes the part where we throw our heads back and laugh ready ready <laughs> Now, I'm going to say this flat out. I can understand if the amount asked was either 5 10 hell, even the highest, 15 to $20. But to ask for $1,000, so, and more likely fans will try to, you know, sum up the money to freaking do this, but to pay dollars on somebody that you only interact with once more than likely is utterly insane and for those who end up falling for this crap shame on you and of course the reason she I guess to some extent she mentions why she made the price so high and apparently get this 
Um, it's due to the quote unquote haters that she has raised it or at least made it to a thousand dollars, which makes no sense. And looking at some of the comments on Twitter and social media, people are like, I love this one comment where somebody was like, how about you pay me a thousand dollars to, you know, interact with the fan. Um, it's just, it's ridiculous. It, it really, how, that's just, that's the same level of greed as that one streamer who was demanding subscribers for you to pay to subscribe and watch her content. I feel like we're at that level of greed. And at this point, your financial situation, no offense, and I don't want to, I wouldn't want to talk about this, but I, I doubt a lot of people are going to go for this to pay a thousand dollars just to, again, just to interact with one person for a limited amount of time. That is a complete and utter ripoff. Okay. You guys could spend it could you it could spend your money on anything else. So don't waste a thousand dollars on something like this. That is complete and utter BS. Now, in case people were wondering if I would ever do this, where I would be suckered into, you know, spending a thousand dollars on somebody like this. Um, I don't know about you, but I'd rather spend money playing video games or at least buying new video games to play for you, for the channel, as well as the really cool knickknacks that I have stored on my uh, shelves. I'd rather spend my money on something that is actually worth it rather than something that will mean more likely nothing in the long run. Hello everyone, thank you for stopping by to check out this video. If you guys can, please leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. As well as follow us on social media, links are in the description. Check out gaming content from MJ, Aiden, and Maggie, as well as our daily content on the YouTube channel. Follow us on our podcast, which is 6pm Pacific Time on Sundays. From everybody of Novacast, thank you guys for watching, and we will see you in the next video.